What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, I'm Josh with JCS Customs, and here's my 21 Camaro SS that we do multiple modification videos to, as well as product reviews here on the channel. Also, I had a V6 on the channel about three years ago, so if you are visiting and you have a V6, feel free to go check that stuff out as well. But a lot of the things we do, guys, can be um, done between all trim levels. So today, courtesy of Overtake Auto, we have another modification to the 21 Camaro SS here, and it can be applied from 2016 all the way to 2024 last year of production models. So we're gonna jump straight into this install. We're gonna do a step-by-step. -step. I'm super excited to get this on the car and um, show you guys exactly how great it's gonna look. So here we have our illuminated bow tie from Overtake Auto, and it just comes in a simple little package, and we're gonna open that up real quick and show you what you get in it. As you see, it says 2016, 2022, but it does go to 2024 models. So we're gonna open it up. This is the black version. So open it up here. We got an Overtake Auto little card here. Cool looking Camaro on the back and a QR code. So this here, we got, guys, that looks awesome. So when it's not on, it's gonna be black on the outside. So that's gonna look really cool. You got the illuminated bow tie here and the wiring harness here. Cool. All right, we're gonna set that to the side real quick. Then we got some little zip ties and some instructions here. So, and this right here looks like, yep, yeah, some shrink wrap for your, uh, if you got a splice. So, I will go ahead and say that there has been multiple people say that on the 2019s and up you will have to reverse the polarity of the wires so we're going to see exactly how to do that and we're going to jump straight into this install so let's get it started so we're going to pop our hood here it might be dirty under here I haven't cleaned in a minute so this step-by-step -step guide will show you how to do it without removing the front bumper we're just going to remove this plate here as well as drop the um, the hood latch mechanism here. So a lot more simple. So let's get it started. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove this clip around the edge here. And you'll notice that you got some T15s as well as some pop clips here. And get a closer look here. So just for a helpful tip, if you can't quite remember what order these go in, take a picture before you take them out. So. You got the pop clips on the end here, and the rest are T15. These T15s have these little uh, clips that go underneath. And then we're gonna start removing this plate here. You got some rubber grommets here, uh, some 10 millimeters, and some T25s here. Um, what I like to do is these grommets here and these screws here actually help adjust your hood. And once you remove this plate, it can kind of throw your hood off whack. So what I like to do is kind of go with full rotations and write down how many full rotations I did. That way I can kind of put it back to um, somewhere near where it was. Also, I like to tape off where this mechanism is here because if this is dropped or higher than it originally was, the front of your hood will be dropped or higher than it originally was. So let's start the removal. Now you see this is, you can move this now. You notice you can't get it out because of this hood latch. So we're gonna take a super long extension with 13 millimeter. We're gonna shove it through. right here. Now we have everything removed so this plate will easily slide out and we can access this open area here in order to remove the bow tie. Now if you are only removing the bow tie you do not have to do all this. You see a video popping up down below on the channel. I have that to where you can actually remove this bow tie without removing anything. So feel free to go check that out. But 
we are going to be removing it to install a new one. And when you install the new one, you have to put the bracket on the back. So you will need to remove all of this. So let's go ahead and pull this plate out here. So now that we have it removed, you can see on the back here, we have this bracket with these screws here. I've already pre-loosened these, so I don't have to remove them on video. But, man, look how scratched my bow tie is. Anyways, I'll show you real quick. So unscrew it. These are T20s, by the way. Just like that, and the bracket comes off. And then you can slide your bow tie right off. So this part right here might actually be the hardest part of the install. You will have to reuse this backing piece here with the bracket. So in order to do so, you got to remove this front chrome part of your stock bow tie. And guys, those clips are usually pretty tough to get out of. I've done this removal before and it was pretty hard to get out. So what we're going to do is try to slide some flatheads up in there, which is what I've done in the past. It's worked pretty well, so let's do it. Got a big flat head here. Let's try this big one here. So after about 10 minutes of messing with it, we finally got it off. So, See the chrome pieces off. On your old piece here, you will have to drill a piece. And don't worry about messing this up if you ever want to go back to your old bow tie because when you drill in the middle, you're not going to mess up these screw holes here. So let's do it. And also, there's a point right here in the middle to show you where center is. Well, the only real one you have to fit through is this one here. So let's see how much bigger we need to go. A little bit. And there we go, fits through. Both of my drills decided to die on me, so that's a common problem in my videos. And we got it snapped on just like the old one, ran the cord through. See, it did not interfere with these screw holes here. So let's go start the rest of the install. So the illuminated bow tie ties into your side markers actually, so it's relatively easy, easy install. So what we're gonna do is go to the passenger fender well here. We're gonna turn our wheels in to get extra clearance and we got three T15 bolts to remove here. So we're just gonna take them out real quick. Now pull the liner back. Now that the liner is back, you see your side marker here. You got a clip here, bottom clip here, and it's simply your bulb is right here. So if you want to, you can pop this out. It's not necessary. But you want to go ahead and twist this to the right pull it out i'm just going to remove this to give extra room so now what we're going to do is you see this gray part here 
you're going to remove that and use this plug for your harness. Now this may be hard to see, but you look up in there. Let's see. You got a little bit of daylight through there. So what I'm going to do is using the zip ties, I mean uh, using the red tie that came with the harness, I'm going to attach it to this clothes hanger and I'm going to run it through up to that daylight. It'll be a lot easier to pull this side through than those two ends there. All right. So we got it through. So now we can remove this and shove that back through there. Take our new bow tie here. It'll only fit on one way. I'm gonna run this up underneath like that. And we're going ahead, and this just plugs in to that He's coming off. So you see the connection here? You connect it, and this little piece right here, this little nut, will screw up onto it. So now we're going to take our bracket here and just put it on just like the original stock bow tie was. You can see this. So for our plugs here, what we're going to do. Take this bulb out, just like that. Careful with that. We're going to plug this into our old harness here. We're going to take our bulb and plug it into the new one, lock it. Now, so let's see. So, this is a test. So, when we start the car, it should come on. As you see, the bulb's on. But this is not on because we have to reverse the polarity. So what we're going to do is start by pulling this back some. Got that open. I'm going to kind of remove this stuff here. Give us some more slack. We're going to start by cutting this weather wrap open here. All right, we got it pulled back. We're gonna cut it here. We'll cut it a little bit further up. We're gonna swap black to black, gray to gray to gray to black, black to gray. So we need to strip this back a little bit. All right, we have this stripped back. We're gonna do the same to the other side. See, I have them <clears throat> exposed here. So we're going to swap it. It was originally like this. We're going to swap it to this. So what I'm going to do, if you've never done any kind of electrical work, I'm just going to pull this to the side like this and twist it. You can get those little, I um, uh, can't think of the name at the moment, but they look like just a little cap. You twist it over here and twist them together. I am currently out. So I'm going to make do with this. Oh, I forgot to put my shrink wrap on. There we go. So reverse polarity on this one and this clip here. You see the bulbs on and the bow tie is on. So we got it looking right. So we're gonna wrap all this up now that we know it works. You have to keep it separated. So we're gonna put some electrical tape around here, pull this weather strip back and I'm gonna put some regular tape around it. And uh, I'll come back in here and clean this up more after the video. Let's do it. We're gonna do everything I did to take everything off in reverse order and put it back. And then the exciting part of the video, the after shots. Let's get it. I had to switch up the flow. Show you the way that it go. God is good, but his life is hard. But it gets better when you grind it small. I'm just really trying to leave a mark. We tired of being who they say we are. That's the big time we gon' take a fall. I was real, we don't fake it all. Tired of nine to five. Just make enough to survive Only living on the weekends You really thinking that's why I'm alive? Listen at the scenes, time to live my dreams Do the things deep inside of me This life it continues, we're fighting me But I don't have quitting inside of me Well there you have it guys, super awesome looking product With a simple 
install. If you like the way it looked in this video and think about getting one, please use my referral link down in the description down below. That will take you to the overtakeauto.com website and you can find that product as well as other products like custom steering wheels. So be sure to check out the rest of their website. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I've had it on for about a week and I love it so far. So I want to thank Overtake Auto once again for the product here and um, I'm going to enjoy it for years to come. So until next time, guys, appreciate you guys watching. Peace out.